Tony Howe, Thomas Connors, and Robert Connors. Welcome everybody. It is Tuesday the 17th of September. Welcome to episode 6 of Forget Work, Watch Films. Now, I don't really need to introduce my co-hosts because you already know who they are. One of them literally looks like he's about to have a heart attack. How are you That's doing? clearly me. Yes, I'm alright. Sorry, I'm just a if, bit if you hear, that cool. If you hear a loud thud halfway <laughs> through, you'll know what it is. Coke and coffee. That's what I've been yeah, on. Just a drink. I don't know how to do mouth to mouth, so there won't be any of that. Just mouth to cock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they lowered the tone. In lowered, Straight away. Lowered, boom. Lowered the it tone. Rock bottom. We can only go up from here. So, yeah, everybody out there, thanks for following our you know, the podcast, we're doing pretty well now on Instagram. Any more comments, likes, subscribes, whatever, just keep them coming in. It's doing pretty well. We've got a new logo as well. Yeah. Uh, which I was trying to tell Tom about, but couldn't do. All oh, right, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. You know, like when, say, Lassie got comes, a new logo. when Lassie comes running in and they have to look at it while she's barking and then they go, what's that? Oh, oh man, t- Barnaby's Timmy's, down the well. Timmy's down the well, so, Skippy. So, so uh, signalling it, man. So, yeah, um... Yeah, it's doing pretty well. We'll not be doing it too long, but we're uh, liking all the feedback, the comments, people giving input. That's exactly what we want to hear. What's interesting, on the last episode, we put a poll out there, Rush Hour versus Bad Boys, and all three of us guessed Rush Hour, uh, Bad Boys would win. Rush Hour kicked its ass. 70-30. That's right. a good result, that, isn't it? Yeah. Shows people love Jackie Chan. People love Chris Tucker. Well, I said it. I, I actually said... If you remember correctly, mm. that Rush Hour is actually a better film than, yeah, than Bad Boys. Yeah. Because obviously, I hate Tia Yeah. But I just think the Bad Boys franchise is better than Rush Hour. Definitely. You didn't see the other poll I put on. I put a thing on saying, which weapon would you rather have or which prop? I had a proton pack, a lightsaber, a hoverboard from Back to the Future, an Indiana Jones whip. Which would you rather have? Show them again. A proton pack, a lightsaber, no. a hoverboard. No, or, okay. a, or a whip from Indiana Jones. Kinky. Uh, lightsaber every time. Uh, it was a bit of a draw between the lightsaber and the hoverboard, to be honest with you. Right. Mm. But, yeah, well, I think we'll try and do that each week, come up with a poll for people to have a vote on. But, so, as this is Forget Work, watch films, we'll start off by asking, what have you watched this week? Do you want to start with this one, Tom? Yeah, I mean, I watched The Dead Don't Die... With Bill Murray and Adam I don't Driver. Know. I don't know oh, whether to Oh, that's watch. that one. I heard you talking about it, and, and I went to set you, and I knew there's this film out with Bill Murray, because uh, obviously these guys are massive Bill Murray fans. I don't mind Bill Murray, but these two like, think he like, walks on water. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's, it, it's like a, a right yeah. weird independent... You know what? I thought it would be a bit Wes Anderson and a bit too out there. But I thought it were good. I, I mean, it's not amazing, but it were it were very tongue in cheek, and I thought it's decent. It's funny. It's weird, but I had a bit of a Bill Murray fix because I watched that, and then I watched the um, the Bill Murray stories about all the reports of him randomly turning up places and stuff. So I watched that as well. It gives you you can see you thought sort of think Bill Murray is a bit yeah he is obscure and he's a legend, but when you see these things, it ignites your faith in Bill Murray because he's a cool guy he's a very cool guy he's done some classics he's a bit of a unique character one thing I haven't mentioned yet which is crazy is Power's back on now I know I'm the only person here that watches Power but it is brilliant it's class is that the one done by 50 yeah. 50 yeah. 50 cents so it's the final season now shit is hitting the fan it's really good it's a shame you're not up on it because it's really good anybody else out there who's watched it right Am I on my own in thinking that something's wrong with Lakeisha's ass? 
There's a character called Lakeisha. Right. right. This is so. Yeah. Me, me and him, I don't, we don't yeah. know about Lakeisha's ass. It's an in, interesting. Dis- no. Yeah, yeah. There's an episode and she turns around and it looks like she's had the most ridiculous butt implants. Like, seriously, like. Footballs. Anyway, whoever's watched it will have noticed that. So if you've noticed well, I'll that, have to have a, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll just tell my <laughs> missus I'm doing it just for research. Podcast. Yeah, reason I'm looking at these lasses asses for Rob. But in fact, this could be a poll, unless not many people watch it. But Team Tommy or Team Ghost? I'm Team Tommy because he's fucking awesome. Very good. Well, we're team. Don't know how to yeah. that. So. You, should, you, should, you should. I would recommend you watch it. It's easy watching. Ten episodes. Just finding time in it. Well, it is, there's that many things to get into. No, it's, it's when you've got access to anything. I know. Well, where, where do no, you start? Well, I've, have you got access to anything? Yeah. It's so expensive signing up for everything. Yeah, it is, but so, you've got to do it if you want to watch stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we watched this week. Bit of Bill Murray. Wait, I haven't said what I watched. Go on, then. Right. Oh, I had a trip down memory lane, and I watched a classic Clint Eastwood film called Firefox. And it is absolutely brilliant, but it's pretty weird. Right. Because it's like... Sell it to it, me. It, right. Clint East, Eastwood gets recruited by British government because Russians have made this superior fighter jet called Firefox. And he gets done in. He's like his like special agent who's retired. Uh, and he's got like issues with like PTSD. And they send him in to because he, he's like top fighter pilot secret agent type person but obviously he's retired and he's getting on a bit so they send him in and he to steal his jet and it's it's weird because it's like a very British type film a bit like Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy what year is this film uh, it's, it's 80s so but, he, he but, must, it, but it's very weird because it, must have it been. goes from being this Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy type film to then all these special effects because there's this fighter jet, which is like special fighter jet, yeah. but then Russians have got another fighter jet, right. which is same. So they like have this like battle. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's classic. I, it, I recommend it to, to watch it. If it to me, it's a Sunday afternoon film. You just had your Sunday dinner, get your feet right. up, you, and you watch. Can't Firefox. use that every week. Sunday dinner, no, mind you. No. No, and that's what I usually use to describe a film. This is what I'm describing to get right. next, next Sunday. You've had your Sunday dinner, guys. Get Firefox put on. So You'll love it. All the family can enjoy it. Released in the 1980s, so Clint Eastwood must have been about 90. <laughs> so I reckon he's in his... He is an icon, isn't subject, he? Oh, yeah. Subject time, right? Go on. This is my subject this week. So, obviously, we're in 2019. Everywhere you turn, there's movie news, there's posters, there's trailers, you know, everything's out there. And this, I already had this in mind as a subject, but today I was reading about the movie Joker. And on the news bulletin, told me something about the end of the movie. And I was pissed off, I was annoyed. I want to know, because this is something everybody, you know, has in mind. What is a spoiler? What 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 makes a spoiler, you know, rumours, gossip, little Easter eggs inside of a trailer, you know, what do you find as a spoiler? What what really riles you up? If I'm talking to you, I've seen a movie, oh yeah, and then this app, where's the line? You know what I mean? I'll take this one. Go on. Well, it's a good... Uh, I, think a, I think to me, it depends on how much you're looking forward to a film. So if you're really passionate about it and you don't like Ghostbusters three, I don't want to know anything about it. I don't. I don't want to. I'll, I'll, obviously, the only bits I want to know are what those producers have released. I want to be in the frame of mind that they want me to be in going into it. I don't want to know if somebody turns up halfway through. I want to go in surprised. Now, I, I was once on a train, believe it or not, in the morning, and I were uh, talking to somebody who I was on my way in to work with. And he'd never watched Game of Thrones. So I went to explain to him what it is. And I said, there's a family called the Lannisters. And this guy tapped me and said, do you mind? I've not seen it. That's not a spoiler. Because it's in the public domain. But obviously, it's... I think, really, you shouldn't say anything about a film that's not been in the trailer or a poster. But if you're really, really looking forward to... Like, if you're a massive Star Wars fan and The Rise of Skywalker's coming out, you're going to need to have a social media blackout leading into that. 
this day and age, anything can get spoiled. See, <clears throat> as the elder statesman of the group, I remember when there were nothing. Mm. You had to watch late at night, catch America's Top Ten, just to catch trailers. There were no online, there were no internet. But that was the only. You either went to the cinema or you managed to catch America's Top Ten later that. And I remember it showing you for the first time Terminator 2. And it showed a snippet, and you didn't even know it was Terminator 2. It was just known as like James Cameron's next film. Well, can I just jump in there? Because that's interesting you've said that. I know Terminator 2 is like one of the action movies. But going off the heels of Terminator, James Cameron actually wrote Arnold's character, you know, brought it back into it, but this time as a good guy. But he dressed him as a biker, looking a bit menacing, and made the bad guy a copper, somebody John Connor would trust. You went into that film not knowing anything. That would be one of the greatest reveals in the first 15 minutes of the movie, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Get yeah. down. So, basically, I remember going to see Batman 1989. You didn't know how to bat it. Mm. All these films, you didn't have a clue. The problem is now, see, then there was just one trailer. Now you've got 50 trailers. TV spots. You've got TV spots. 10 minutes this, 10 minutes that. There's, there's, there's all social media. Yeah. It, 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 uh, there's one film, and I can name one film in, in past few years that surprised me because it was so far from what I thought the trailer was. Godzilla. Yeah. I knew and you that was Godzilla. Yeah. Because they didn't show any of the other creatures until you watched that film. It was so totally different to what my mind had made up happened mm-hmm. by watching the trailer. Yep. And that is the way to do it. But, to me, there should be one trailer, that's it. Do you remember Do you remember the trailer for Terminator Genesis, where they showed you John Connor was actually a, a bad guy? Do you yeah. remember? That is well, ridiculous. Well, that was like the fourth one. Yeah, but that's fourth just... trailer, because there were that many trailers. You were excited for that film at the first trailer. And then it showed you that, and you were like, what? But what I don't understand are these people who take it upon themselves to become detectives. Did you hear this? The director said in an interview with him, who said to him that this apparently you're not uncovering anything. But that's social you, media. You, that yeah. that's that's the way it is. It's You're, a tricky one, isn't it? Because I'll be honest, I spend a lot of time searching on Instagram or Twitter for like latest news about Ghostbusters three, and I shouldn't do it because, like I said a minute ago, I don't want to know. But the anticipation is so high for some of these films that you need you just need your fix. You See, need to I know. I don't something. do anything like that. I don't search for information. Maybe things will pop up on a website that I'm on that will say new reveal for next film so, or new reveal for Star Wars. But I don't purposely go out looking for. I don't usually. I would rather, for this one I, am. I would rather be surprised. I would. I would. But, let's, you know, let's have an example. Temptation's a bitch. So I've seen the latest movie, right? Me and you are having a conversation now. Oh, Tony, I've just been to see whatever movie. What would you respond with? Don't tell me it ends. Right. Usually somebody says, oh, is it any good? And I say, yeah, it was all right. Apart from end, though. Gets a bit... Is that a spoiler? Yeah. I well, not if you just said ends a bit rough. No, I don't like I mean, to... uh, this is... What I want us to try to do on this podcast is not reveal any ending. So no. even though Firefox is like bloody 30, nearly 40 year old, I still don't want to reveal end. Not that there's a, like, a mass, it's not bloody usual suspects, but I don't want us to reveal any endings because there's people out there who haven't seen any of these films. Even Titanic? Yeah, even Titanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously we know what happens with the ship. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you don't, well, I don't do know. Yeah. Once upon a time in Hollywood, you can't predict that ending, even though it's based on history. Yeah. See, again, though, is that... I don't like to know anything. I like it to be I don't. Clean, I want to go in. Nothing. I mean... You get you get tempted with trailers. Oh yeah, and they tempt yeah. But to, to me, there should be just one. Yeah, there shouldn't be forty. So, have you seen new new trailers dropped? What right. do you mean new trailer? There should be one trailer. If that's not enticing enough, then they've not done the fucking job, have they? Put it this way: End Game that had been out for a good two weeks, a, maybe even a week, and a friend of mine was walking through Meadowall, and somebody out of the blue Bluetoothed him a picture, and all the picture said was. Iron Man dies right that's a week after 
That's horrendous. Are we are we just assuming that everybody who's listening to this has seen Endgame? Right. So even though I've just <laughs> no. said about <laughs> no, even no. though I've just said about let's not ruin any ends. <laughs> no, no, you've just, just done it. it. That's somebody just said that out of the blue. And this guy had not seen the movie. Does that happen? Done that happen? That's somebody trying to troll you. But what I'm saying now is, so you're watching TV, Sky, Sky will advertise a movie three months after it's released. Shows you everything. Captain America getting the hammer. Don't, stop, stop <laughs> saying bits. No, I don't care. People Everybody. Saying, stop it. Right, Iron Man dies, Captain America gets the hammer. <sighs> Black Widow dies. Please carry on listening. Every, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Is, We're sorry about Rob. We'll have him replaced next yeah, week. I'm sure <laughs> Kyle's free. Yeah. Every, everybody has seen that movie. Right. right. But we're talking three months after it's been out, right? And Sky advertised. But you're saying about people spoiling it. And yeah. there might be people listening to this who've not seen it. No, you there just isn't. No, it. there isn't. So no, there what, isn't. what are you arguing with? You're just saying that you've just done what you've said you don't want yeah, people to exactly. do. Yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying, right, it's been a lot longer. I don't really understand where this is coming from now. It's not, it's been a bit longer than three months, but what I'm saying is, how long do you give it on a film until they can start I, advertising this? This is what I'm this? saying, you don't. I don't think you should. I do This is what I've just said. I don't want to give right. to Firefox, which is the most obscure film, which probably nobody's no, ever seen. It's nearly 40 year old. It, I still don't want to tell you what it happens depends. at you don't. Personally, for me as a big film fan, I would not discuss a film... A major film, well, any film really, if I didn't know the other person had seen it. So, for example, whenever I was at work, I'd, I'd be talking about something, I'd say, you have seen it, haven't you? And then I'd, like, kind of go into it. Well, I'd, like, I'd, I'd say, are you going to see it? And if that yeah, person, that's, if that's that person what says to me, I'm going to watch that, don't tell me, then that's fine. But if somebody says, well, I might catch it, I might not, I'd go, all right, well, this is what happens. Because mm. they're clearly not that interested about it. Yeah. I mean, like you say, if you're that bothered about Endgame, really, you have seen you'll it. have seen yeah, it already. It is the movie. You know, it's the highest grossing movie. There might be time. people just got out of prison but, listening. Like you say, yeah. As soon finally as, got internet. Oh, let's see what yeah. this podcast is about. I finally got out. I'm going to watch Endgame. Yeah, Please. actually, you know what? Daisy's not seen it. As soon as it gets to, as soon as it gets to any, the Blu-rays on the horizon, that's when everything is. Well, it's hard, I didn't see it. It's hard Blu-ray. You can buy it. That's yeah, it's been out a while. Sainsbury's that's a plug. I want some food. But yeah, in my eyes, spoilers. I I personally don't like to know anything. But a movie like Endgame, how are you going to go? Six. It come out in April. We're in September now. That so, is so that what, is an ex- what, right. So let's 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 say um, what 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 we're saying that. If a film's coming out, we don't you, we don't want to know anything about yeah. it. Once the film's released, there is a certain amount of time you've got. We can and talk then about you can it, then, yeah. and then you can cover it. Can right. I, yeah, I'm coming with yeah. you. I'm agreeing with can you. Can I ask a I question? I know what you're saying. Can I put a question out there? If you want to. If you were looking forward to a film and somebody purposely spoiled it for you, how would you feel towards that I'd person? I'd be absolutely fuming. <laughs> Absolutely. To what fuming. degree, though? Well, and if, is, if, is, if, is it ever if, acceptable? No, no. If they if they accidentally told you by mistake, has it ever happened to you? It's not happened to me, but I've been lucky. I try to avoid certain things, but, but it's hard in this day and age to avoid stuff because there's that much stuff. You might be on a website, and it'll and then something will come up. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I've just done that. I mean, that's joke. why I try to avoid that happens just to straight me. It off. That's why I try to avoid internet on a Saturday because I don't want to know football results until match of day comes on but you go on to any site or onto YouTube yep. they're plastered all off which happened to me today with Joker but well, that film's not out for a month but what I'm saying is if a film's been out six months nearly a year how can we never ever talk about the event especially like a movie like Marvel but when people start just revealing things that aren't even out yet that's bullshit that's, yeah to me nothing it should be closed yeah. or until yeah. release and then Trickle information yeah. out. I don't even like knowing whether somebody enjoyed it or not. I just like to see, You've seen it? Good. Don't yeah, tell me anything. Yeah, because I mean, end of the day. I, I, well, I am interested if somebody enjoyed well, it. Well, we hope you like that. I have to make my own mind up about films. Yeah. Because everybody's different. Everybody's got different opinion. People like Sergeant Milko. Yeah. I am very, very anal when it comes to spoilers. I really am. But, like I say, there's a, there's a window to be had. We're not going to go watch Joker and the first podcast after we've seen it tell you everything what happens. No. Well, I, I went to see it too last week and I 
I didn't say anything that happened in it. But because once, you but once See, the problem with six that, months later, and that movie's on Blu-ray. I'm sorry, but the difference for it too in. is it's took from a book that's took from a TV series. Exactly. So that <laughs> is much harder to avoid. Kind of what goes off at end. No, no, I disagree. Totally, totally I disagree. The well, you must have a, not read I, that book. I, if I went, well, I've seen the series, so yeah. I've got You've an idea. Series, but I know you've got the end is. See, <laughs> this is how, this is what spoilers do. <laughs> He's got pictures of do. This is what spoilers <laughs> do. You know, they rile people up. I were working with people, right? Endgame's been out three weeks and they still couldn't book a ticket. Walk around with the fingers in their ears because they don't want to hear what happens. I understand that, but like I said. Certain films, there's a window to be had. Spoilers, we don't do them. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally agree. So, so for the people who've released that information about Joker, uh, don't come round to Rob's because you're not welcome. And all the people that have not seen Endgame yet, give us and Don't give us come round to Rob's because you're not welcome. Don't who, give up on us who, yet. Who hasn't seen Endgame? Uh, you know what I mean? Who's going to watch it? Who wants to watch it? Everybody's seen it. Right, next subject. Go yeah. on. And this, right, this is one, I think it's more for the guys, because I don't really think girls, I want to talk. It's diversity in the workplace. We, Mo- me and Tony didn't say that. Movie memorabilia, collectibles, pieces, things you want to put on your wall. Why Why are people bothered about them? Why do you want them? What's the thing? What do you like? Do you have any? What are we thinking? Well, exactly. well, what are you saying? You said it's, it's specifically a guy No, no, thing. I mean, what I was going to mention is obviously you guys collect Hot Toys. Yes. Which is a high-end... Well, end. you've got a couple. You, you've yeah. got a few, Tony. I've which is a, a few. high-end premium figure that comes with a nice price tag. Basically, you'd be better off being addicted to crack. <laughs> yeah, it's cheaper. <laughs> but, put it this way, Game of Thrones, last season were coming out, and I was buzzing for it. And I remember looking online and I saw a long claw, Jon Snow sword, and I thought, it will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be mine. I bought it, the season were terrible. See, First see, thing see, I did, I sold it. Well, I would have sold it. Exa- I know that. I personally would have kept it. Yeah. I still see that now and I'm still tempted by it. Yeah. Because, <coughs> even though that last series, we could go into this forever, weren't that great. Then my love of that show, my love of the characters, and my love of the props and stuff like that, still would have made me keep it, mm. and I still would buy it. I mean, I've got Blade Sword, but why? I've got Kill why? Bill Sword. Why do? Because you... I like them films and I like them items, and I just think they look good. Plus, if you come round my house and try to break in, you're in trouble. Just give me so. Just give me a rundown then on hot toys, what they are, because people see them. People come. right. There's not many people know what hot toys. Do you want to take this, Tom? Yeah. Well, hot toys is basically like um, a, a company that makes high end. They, they're like one six scale. They're basically toys. Well, this is women call them dolls. That's the one six scale. So, so no, girlfriends call them dolls. So there are some a lot of women who collect them. But uh, it's basically just, it's a bit of a, like, nostalgia. A lot of them are, like, throwbacks to, like, Terminator 2 and whatever else. The, the um, figures look amazing. They look exactly like, I mean, the Mandarin what I've got. I mean, some of them are, are good, and then mm. some of them are amazing. Yeah. I mean, look exactly like the actor. Yeah. What, what, what is it that comes of you? Why do you look at these ones and think, mm, but why? Because it's what your it? connection to that character. It's your right. connection to the that's, film. That's the answer I'm looking like for. Like the ones that I've got. I mean, you do go a bit mad at first. I went mental and bought loads. <laughs> and then I've just got like loads about. But what I've tried to do now is be very more specific to the films the I, reason I it, want. The films I like, like The Crow. Love yeah, that film. Definitely. Love that character. I want Robocop. Classic 80s. 89 Batman. All those of you mentioned have got a very stylized, classic look to them, haven't they? Yeah. Robocop, 89 Batman. The, the thing is, the, the detail on these is, is basically, they could have just shrunk the character from the film and put it in your living room. So you look at that you look at that hot toy and it just kind of like takes you back to watching that film and it's just... And they're fully posable, yeah. so you can change them. <laughs> do you think... Yeah, that, you do can you take think, them in bath with you. <laughs> do you think there's a little bit of... Like, so going back to being a kid, opening your favourite figures. Yeah, is this because I'll tell you this now, there's no as good as when you get into sort of like, 
your thirties and and you're earning sort of like a decent wage, and exactly. you can buy all this stuff that you before you had to scrimp and save for. <laughs> yeah. I bought when, when me and Tom worked for a game, they had uh, Panini stickers and we we got them, didn't we? Basically, where yeah. before you used to got, got get fifty p to buy a packet, we just bought a box each <laughs> and basically <laughs> fill, fill, to filled us filled us book. This- and I tell you this now, I have never had so much fun <laughs> and, and so much enjoyment filling the book that I did with that, and I would do it again. Because the buzz that you got, and it's same when you like buy, get like old toys. This is why that market's massive exactly. retro toys because you've now got an income where you don't. Have, you could just buy them all. There I could buy all Eban figures. I mean, and just uh, from scratch. I just think you've got to have something. You're not put on this earth to just pay bills. If you've got something that gets you fixed when you buy it. Buy it, whatever. I mean, I am into hot toys. I've not got as many as the both of you two. I used to collect them with a few, but I kind of got out of it, but now I'm back into it. But I do kind of think, is it not a bit satisfying to be able to occasionally buy the things that you would if you were rich? Does that make sense? Well, if you yes, were to, if you were to win that. the lottery... Well, bundle. if I were rich, I'd have absolutely hundreds. But I think it's about more what Tom said. It's about the stuff that... If you saw them as a kid, you'd think it were bloody Christmas day mm. but you'd never be able to buy one mm. never you might get one if you were lucky if you'd scrimped and saved for like a year and uh, and added in a Christmas birthday so it's it's that sort of thing it, it's yeah. collecting and being able to buy stuff that it, yeah if you want a prime example of what we're talking about Google Hot Toys Joker 1989 and it literally just looks like a picture of Jack Nicholson. What we'll do if anybody's listened to this we'll put one on our latest Instagram and you can well, just I'd see Well I'd like the to detail. hear from people who've I'm, I'm hoping there's people listening who've got Hot Toys Yeah, yeah. and I'd like to hear from them because well, it's surprising that I mean me and Tom are on uh, Facebook sites for him uh, and there are I do know there, there are people in Sheffield and, and that that have got him because I've met a few but I'd like to hear from other people I know it's, it's a stray off film but not a stray off well film. why don't you post it on your Facebook on these pages and say yeah, look yeah, yeah. open discussion the reason this topic came up actually is because oh my god what we got in here I know what it'll be without even looking. The postman delivered me a nice little the package bab- today. The Baba Yaga. Is it the Baba Yaga? But obviously you guys at home can't see, but I had a delivery this week, so I'm quite interested to it. In fact, I said that, but I've had it for three weeks. I've had it since the last time I hosted, but I thought I'd wait and use it as my next topic. So yeah, looking forward to opening that one. See, I've got a Baba Yaga that I made myself. Because that's also the good thing. The buy the Baba Yaga. You can. Although this might not be John Wick. But we'll see. Ooh. Hey, so, John Wick. So, <laughs> <laughs> game over on uh, on that topic. So, the final topic this week comes in as a request Ooh. from a guy, of, a friend of mine called Mr. Neil Jackson. He wants us to talk about some of the greatest introductions of a character ever. So, he mentioned his favourite... I'm not sure if he just meant TV shows or movies, but his favourite was the character Death in the show Supernatural. Now, I've not watched it, but he uh, he did show it me on YouTube and it looked pretty cool. So, what I've done is I've I've got a couple in mind predictions that I think you two may say in this discussion. And if you do, cool. So, 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 what are we talking? We're talking... The best, the moments where you went, wow, like this is... So I've got. I, have oh, got well, I, I bet I can guess one. Go on then. No, go on. No, you do it. No, no, go on. Throw it, S- Civil War. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. We were just talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. Talk me through it. Come on. Well, we're about maybe uh, halfway, a quarter, three, a third of the way through. This is the end. Yeah. And it's all like starting to kick off. You know, I'm not going to lie, I was panicking a bit then because I didn't know what this was from. Did you not? No. Yeah, I know. But I know it now. And somebody gets out of bath, takes a piss on the seat, yeah. <laughs> tries rubbing it off with his boot, it's and then starts doing this dance. Let me, let me do it, let's go and back to Danny it. Danny McBride. So shit's hit in the fan, and then it does settles. And this is a film you're in. Well, they, all, they, they nailed. They, <laughs> yeah. they barricade themselves in out. Yeah. 
It's all gone down to sleep. This is a film that you're enjoying, right? Yeah, it's all gone tits up. This is my analogy. It's a cake that's delicious. It's perfect. And then somebody pulls out the nicest... Somebody pulls out the nicest icing ever. So listen. Somebody's putting icing on top of the cake. Danny McBride gets up. Do you remember what he says? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Walks in, lights a spliff, pisses on the seat. But anyway, so come on. Hit me up with some of your other... That's what I'm talking about. Danny McBride comes into that movie. You're enjoying it. Already comes up. I, I really like the, the the introduction of Joker in The Dark Knight, where you see all these criminals... I mean, this isn't a spoiler, because it's right at the very start. I suppose it is to some extent, but... Right. Everybody's seen The Dark Knight. These rules don't apply. Everybody's seen that film. Hopefully. Well, all these criminals dressed up as Joker... Um, and you slowly you don't know which one's which and they all start to like get eliminated one by one and it comes down to the last one and um, he, he basically says I killed the bus driver and then he takes his mask off and he says um, "What doesn't I believe what doesn't kill you makes you stranger That that is a classic modern day introduction you know the recent one that always gets me is Infinity War with Captain America where train goes by and he catches that spear and music comes well, on. Well, are we talking about an introduction? I think it's yeah, more think an introduction the... of a, that, that first appearance. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I, I'm adamant over what he's got here has got to be Civil War. No. When Spider-Man, no? No. When Spider-Man caught. I, I, come on. You know what? Now, I, I mean, that introduction uh, I knew of you, Spider-Man. That is, that is on my list. Into, that is on my list. Into MCU. Yeah. Under us! Is brilliant. I've got absolutely fantastic because you. Uh, it's alright with Joker, yeah, yeah. That is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, and obviously Danny McBride. But you've got a. I know Joker's a well-established character. We've got a massive character who's well, obviously had already about five, ten films already done. Well, that, and you wedged him into yeah. this already massive MCU. Yeah. How do you do it to make it amazing? Yeah. No, and but he did it. Just to counter what you're saying, I totally get what you're saying about Joker, but don't forget, when we first watched that film, the only Joker we knew in movies was Jack Nicholson. Yeah. So Heath Ledger were taking this role on, and this was the first bit of info that you had from the film of the, no, what, what kind I, of Joker you're going to be. I, as much as Joker is a massive character, Spider-Man is... Yeah, is he's, he's, mm, he's a he's a he's a massive building. Spider Man's empire, Plus, there. Joker, and, and it's the fact is that you you then establish him in this already well established. Well, there were a lot going universe. off in that can I, film. Can I, right? So I've got a list here of ones that I come up with that I looked through, and I, I was hoping you were going to guess some of them. So another one I've got. Can you remember? Well, obviously you do remember. What about the introduction of? Indiana Jones inside the temple where he's getting he's lifting up. Oh, That's God. classic, isn't it? Is that classic? Yeah. Like, you used to get well, scared by Alfred Molina, didn't you? Yeah, because seriously, <laughs> that film. We're talking. That film when you watched it as a kid. I mean, the bit where, like, there's them bodies coming out yeah. at Wall and then Alfred Molina's, like, got all those spikes. Spikes, yeah. Seriously, that were like, what? You're, we, only, you're only a kid watching that, and that got, one, but you never saw his face. Yeah. You never saw his face at start. We've got ten minutes left, so I'm going to fly through them in the hope that uh, you guess the one I'm. I thought you were both going to get, but another one I've got a great introduction of a classic character. What about when Tyler Durden first appears, and he's spliced into the movie? He's cut into it, and you see flashes of him. Do you remember in Fight Club? To tell you the truth, I can't. I can't. So I, I, I had I had watched that, that for a long that time. Basically. I mean, this, if the film starts off and Edward Norton's got really bad insomnia where he just can't sleep, and as he slowly gets worse, he's, you see flickers in background, and it happens about four times. And if you were to freeze the frame, it's basically Tyler Durden. But um, mm. obviously, I don't want to spoil it, but it's very significant to the film. I would have said that was another one. Another one, a classic introduction of a character. We're not so we've talked about Spider Man. You know, what about this? What happened to the goat? What's that scene? It's T-Rex. Oh, come on. What? Of the introduction of, of T-Rex. the T-Rex. They, uh, yeah. They drive into yeah. Ben. It's, it's pissing pissed. it down. Yeah, it's yeah. raining. There's a goat. Boom. There's no goat. That is, that's when, that is proper cinema, isn't it? People in theatres watching that must have been buzzing, isn't it? I mean, that film, 
It's got its bad points. It's got its good points. No, it's an but generally, classic. it's a classic film. Well, that is that that introduction of obviously the T Rex. Yeah, that that's the kind of feeling you want to get with those things. Yeah, another one, classic one, is like obviously when we first see Jack Sparrow, and I, I know those films are tainted, but think about the first movie, Johnny Depp is Jack Sparrow. It is on the top of a ship, sunset it's behind sinking. him. And it, the yeah. cam- in dramatic music comes on, camera pans away, and his ship's sinking, and he just hops it, off. It is, it is, that is a classic. Yeah. I was never really on board with those films, but no, I will agree that that that's pretty cool. That, that is, up, that is up there as well. It really is. I um, can't think. I, there's probably. I've got after one today. I will probably be yeah, able to yeah. think about hundreds. Yeah, I've got Firefox. One, I've got, <laughs> I've got one that you were very close to mentioning earlier, and I thought that's what you were going to say. I see. I've pretty much seen every MCU film with Tony, and always the end credit stingers are always exciting. But I remember at the end of Avengers, when it cut to space and it showed the stones, and you think you did the steps, and you're thinking, "What's happening here?" To challenge them is to court death. Now I'm thinking, "What's what is this? I have no idea what this is." Tony sat next to me. Boom! Tell you this now, fucking Thanos. It's Thanos. That. Come on, that is classic. That's good, but you know what? Well, when, when, when we're talking MCU, I think the, the, it were bigger when you saw Thor's hammer. Do you know what? I was just going to say It were, though, were not it? I'm not saying it's bigger, but it were on... I, 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 I remember watching that, and I, and I did it again. Yeah. I like when so I said... Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. hammer. That, that was one of the biggest moments. They took that from a recent Fantastic Four comic where it had dropped and people were trying to pick it up. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of. There's loads. There's there loads, is. but the ones that you've mentioned here are absolutely classic. I went, I went through many lists, and I thought these are some of my favourites. But the introduction of a character, and it's still stressing me out now that neither of you have thought of the one that I was thinking of. What about? Who are you? I'm Batman. Hmm. That's not a bad one. Eight to nine. Yeah. Is so, it who are you, or is it what are you? It's who are you? What right? are you? Go on then, put us out of his misery. You know what? I was just going to talk about the MCU. No, I didn't. It took me a second, dear. No, we've got to leave this music on. Right. This is this is an amazing film. Ta- Talk me through this scene because now we are talking. We talk spoilers, but this is a film from the nineties, and I bet a lot of pe- kids from nowadays haven't seen this movie. And if there are any kids nowadays, don't watch it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially this open, opening scene. No, it's it's so good. Just like, yeah. some some would argue. Dead some would argue this Dead did. Walker. Some would argue yeah. that this did. Just as much for superhero films as 1989 Batman did, because superhero movies when this come out were on their ass. Yeah, and this but were I, very... I don't think this, I don't think this were perceived as a superhero film. Well, though. well, whether it were to or us not, it is, yeah, because we know where Blade comes from. But I reckon if you said to people back then. Which universe is Blade from? They'd have said, what? what well, about? no, they would have. I they didn't realise straight away it a comic book film. Yeah. But perhaps that's part of what, what I'm saying, where people were... It was just so good. And it was adult-oriented, weren't yeah. it? Massively. Yeah. Let's, so let's just take it. I'm not going to spoil it. Obviously, most of us have seen it. So it set starts off. New York City is grim. There's prostitutes everywhere. Guys going on a date. There's a weird woman. She looks a bit feisty. Takes him to he's a her, uh, ex-porn star. Yeah, right? takes him to a rave. So they're inside, and he's thinking, "What the hell?" Guy bumps into him. That's obviously the bad guy of the movie setting it up. Anyway, blood starts pouring from sprinklers everywhere. He's thinking, "What the fuck's going off here?" Next thing, they all turn on him. They're all fangs are out. Dun, 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 dun. This guy falls on the floor. He's dragging himself out. Big crowd opens up. No, pristine it, black, basically, pristine black if you boots, correct, pristine did body armor. Bit where all the blood comes out. Yeah, out of the sprinklers. Yeah. yeah. So he's crawling through. He can't see because his blood's in his eyes. Mm. Next thing you see, perfectly black boots, perfectly black body armor, <laughs> the the long coat, and he's there, Wesley Day Snipes, walker. and you can hear him. Oh, he's here. He's here. The, the to me, walker. right. MCU aside, that is one of the greatest introductions of a character, full stop, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's an absolute I, I thought that you were going to say that straight but, yeah. then, but then, like, obviously that opening scene, when, when they reveal him, but then he goes on and kicks all, he kills them all, and yeah. the way he does it. It was so... just like, wait, 
because you'd never seen out like that. You'd never no. seen anybody. You'd seen people battle vampires, but in a more like. Uh, well, you know, what was the biggest like vampire that? film before that? Lost Boys? Probably something like that. Interview with a vampire. John Carpenter's vampires. Yeah, well, that's too <laughs> horrendous. But, but it, the way he fights them, yeah. and he's purring, he puts like these silver, like jagged like blades through the, through the yeah. skull and into well, What room. about that bit when he goes into that circle room and he fires that thing and yeah. the camera spins around and then he just catches it? The only thing that doesn't hold up is the effects when they turn to ash, but everything else, the choreography, the style... Yeah, but you've got to look at how things move on. It's such a shame about those films, because Blade 2... You I like it, Blade, I, I like Blade 2. Shit. I think Blade 2 is Like, good. how does it happen? The third one was just... It was just shit. Well, the third one... Triple H too. Were a load of problems because he di- he weren't bothered. There was some issue with him. Snack, oh yeah, definitely. apparently, yeah, yeah. And and to me, they were setting it up to he, I have to replace that. him with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Mrs. Uh, Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Jessica yeah. Biel. Yeah. Apparently, I, there were, I do remember reading that where he, he wouldn't turn up on set, so they, they had to use like. Doubles, yeah. And like, I had doubles. And I had filmed all the scenes in a day. Yeah, for a, for a film, he filmed it in a day. So he had two like talking parts, and that's it. Did you ever see the uh, alternative ending to Blade One with Morbius on the top of that building? No, I don't think I have. Get it watched on YouTube. All so right. little. Uh, so cheers, Neil, for the recommendation. He gave it me weeks ago, but I always thought it was a good topic. Blade is one of my all-time favourite introductions of a character. And the other list that I put together as well. Uh, uh, yeah, th- there's, there's probably so many characters it, it, when we've had a time to think that we could come with, but I think the, the grouping that we've got yeah. is classic. Anybody who, who's listened, give us a comment, tell us about even in a TV show. So I bet there is plenty out there. Um, so next thing, anything you're planning to watch coming up? Anything you want to say? We've got a couple of minutes left. Uh what were you, did I mention? Oh, the Ad Astra. Oh, Brad yeah, I'm Pitt. looking forward. Brad Pitt is one of my favourite actors. I've said yeah, that Yeah, I, I do like Brad Pitt. I, f- I mean, for, ev- for every good actor, there's always if- iffy films and good films. Yeah. Uh, I mean, World War Z could have been better. It oh, was yeah. okay, though. It weren't, it weren't horrendous. No, it weren't horrendous. I, I think it just... You know what I always find interesting about that? He, a lot of it were filmed over here. Cardiff. And uh, he got spotted... In uh, B&Q, Brad Pitt, <laughs> buying some at a counter. Uh, if you've not seen it, just Google Brad Pitt, B&Q, and someone who worked there I've not seen put, a, put a picture online saying, well, that was a strange shift at work. Brad Pitt turned up at B&Q. I know they're all they're like us. They're just people. Well, is Brad Pitt like us? Some would say no. Um, but imagine that. Imagine being well, at work. Well, that, well I'll tell you what, that could be a good topic. Send us in if you've ever met a uh, uh, massive star oh, well in a very known. strange place. Yeah. I mean, we've met quite quite a few. Uh, I mean, one of the uh, lads I used to work with at Gabe, he, he served Tom Hardy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, so, he worked at Leeds. I imagine, like, to, I wouldn't know what to say. Do you think you should meet your heroes? What, well, like you met so. Edward Norton and wouldn't let his hand go? So, Certainly not. He <laughs> wouldn't like meeting you. I'm going to wrap it up for this week then. So, hope you've enjoyed my hosting skills. A few debates going off. Um, like I said share it on Instagram like it on Instagram recommend us whatever what do you think to the new logo yeah that was designed Talking by about. Tom he's only saying that in case we get sued so you know what I was just about to say that's in case we get sued yeah, so, uh, so thanks you. to Tom for stealing all those uh, I have, I've copyrighted got, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got quite a few you re- made the intro though so Carlos. I've got a few on my recommend you know on my suggestion list but we'll try and get through them week by week so forget work watch films We'll never ever talk about what we do for a living or what you do for a living because it's all about the movies that you watch. It's all about the things that you enjoy. So if you enjoyed it, give us a comment, whatever. But Keep listening. Tune in next time. We'll so, try to be better. Goodbye, everyone. My, name, my yeah. name's Rob, signing out. My name's Tony, signing out. I'm Tom. I love you. Goodbye. So everybody, forget work. Watch films. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.